Hi everyone, welcome back to the Tiny Dogs Talk podcast series, Pediatric Interview Edition, your source for the clinical thinking station or clinical reasoning station of the pediatric training interview in the UK. This is brought to you by the British Sudanese Association of Pediatric and Child Health, or BSAPCH in short. I'm your host, Isra Ibrahim, and today we have our presenter, Juwaria Ibrahim. She will present a real-life demonstration case of clinical thinking station. So, without further ado, let's dive into our episode. Uh, while you are working in the ANE, a six-month-old uh, child presented with her mother by high-grade fever, a 38.5, uh, flu symptom, cough, and uh, difficulty of breathing. Her SpO2 was 90 on room air, and she is working hard. Um, so uh, it most likely I'm dealing with a case of uh, respiratory uh, distress um, in regard to her age and um, to the finding with wheezing and uh, uh, hypoxia. Most likely this is patient is having a chest infection, either um, viral uh, bronchiolitis or viral induced wheeze, um, pneumonia. Uh, so um, I have uh, to inform my uh, senior immediately. I have I have first to activate the emergency response system and then inform my senior and delegate the role to my team. We have to manage this patient in the resource room. Immediately I will connect this patient to the monitor and pulse oximeter, and I will apply and uh, oxygen uh, by 100% and then rebreather mask and we'll approach this child by an A, B, C, D approach. Uh, first, I will start by the airway. I have to make sure that if there is a patent airway, if there is any evidence of partial obstruction by secretion, I have um, to open the airway by the um, airway opening maneuver, head tilt and can lift and I will do suction by anchor and I will continue to monitor her uh, saturation. So I will move to the breathing. I will see her respiratory rate and effort, um, any evidence of recession, then I will auscultate her chest for air entry. I will make sure that there is an air entry and add sound to uh, most likely the situation having wheezing. Um, um, then I will move to the circulation if there is evidence uh, of shock or inadequate circulation I have to insert an IV line and I will uh, send uh, blood for blood gas uh, if this patient is having high grade fever I have to take uh, complete blood count uh, inflammatory markers use and if I will consider to start for an IV fluid and um, also I will uh, send a viral bundle. Uh, so then I will move to the say, disability. I will assess her level of consciousness. If there is any evidence of inadequate level of consciousness, may I have to support her breathing um, in terms of um, put her on CBAP or high flow nasal cannula. I will also uh do for her the blood glucose then i will move to the e i will expose her to see uh, the skin rash and temperature i will give also an antibiotic so uh, according to the case i will ask my team to the print uh, the protocol of uh, asthma of uh, uh, sorry for uh, bronchiolitis our aim uh, to support the oxygenation ventilation hydration uh, feeding and uh, it is almost supportive treatment and no role for bronchodilators or um, adrenaline nebulizer or 3% it is uh, already controversial uh, so uh, I will then um, update uh, the family about um, as also we are in the in the COVID-19 pandemic, uh, I will make sure if we will do any aerosol uh, generating procedure to be uh, wearing uh, the full BBE. And uh, I have to send the um, COVID-19 uh, swap and um, uh, viral uh, bundle also multiplex BCR. Uh, 
then I will um, update the family about the situation and uh, every step in the management and I will uh, take uh, focus history by sample. I will ask about uh, sample history, about uh, symptom and sign like cough, wheezing, um, shortness of breath, um, decrease oral intake, fever, uh, any history of allergy, asthma. I will ask about medication if she is receiving any medication, past medical history, any uh, prolonged um, admission to the MICU. Okay, mm, so it is according to the case. We will manage her if she is still on severe respiratory distress and she needing support uh, to her breathing. Uh, we have to admit this patient to the PICU. Uh, then we will do a debriefing uh, for our team to assess our uh, performance. So uh, treatment of bronchiolysis, it is mainly supportive. Thank you. As we wrap up today's episode, me and Bisab CH would like to extend our thanks to our presenter, Juwaria Ibrahim. Thank you for sharing your insights with us. We hope we hope this episode has provided simulation-like guidance for the clinical thinking station and pediatric training interview. Remember, our journey does not end here. Be sure to check out the rest of our podcast, our YouTube channel, our website for more information. Your feedback is valuable. We invite you to reach out and share your thoughts, questions, or suggestions. Together, we can continue to improve and provide content that meets your need. Thank you for tuning in, and until the next time, stay curious and keep learning.